Hi everybody and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Join me and Bella in this one as we do some hammock camping in some local woods. Welcome back everyone. So as in the little intro, today me and Bella are out hammock camping in some local woodland. Um, now we've brought two different setups, we've brought the bespoke setup and we've brought the cocoon. Bella's not decided which one she wants to sleep in as yet, so I'm going to get both set up and then we'll let you decide. And I can sit in both of them just to sleep. Yeah, and she can I sit. better not fall out of it like I did last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only person in the world I've known fall out of a hammock. Right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Right, welcome back everyone. So as you can see I've set up both hammocks now and most of the tarps, I just need to peg the tarps out. Um, but Bella's opted for the uh, cocoon and then I've gone in the bespoke one. I won't let him let it look like a fishnet. <laughs> so underneath I've got a gear sling made from a net hammock and Bella thinks it just looks like a fishnet. Um, and I can see why. Uh, but yeah. This is my bespoke one, all the modifications I've sort of put a lot of different brands together and, and come up with like my own design sort of hammock. Uh, the underquilt stitched on, um, it is a snug pack underquilt stitched onto this black and orange hammock which I think was called Yelangezu or something similar. Um, and then I've used a couple of little of the hints, tips and tricks that I've uh, done a series on um, using Obviously the structural ridge line here, the gear line organiser on the inside, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's this hammock. Uh, we'll go across to the other one and talk you through that one. So I made a snug pack cocoon and behind me a snug pack tart. And go follow my dad's Instagram and TikTok. Dad, close it! So Bella's been dying to say that, uh, if you didn't hear her, she's in the snug pack cocoon and the snug pack tarp um, and she said go and follow my Instagram and my new TikTok. Comment if you want me to teach my dad some TikTok dances. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you heard her, if you wanted to teach me some TikTok dances, which nobody wants to see that, Everyone uh, wants then you, to see you that. have to comment below and uh, <laughs> yeah, she'll teach me some dances. But yeah, I'll leave links to the TikTok and Instagram and everything uh, downstairs. But yeah, I'll uh, just bring you in and show you what I've done with the tarp because uh, the trees aren't quite right. So as you can see, the tarp here is coming all the way around the tree and that's the beauty of having the pound shop bobbles on the end or the little bit of bungee cord. You know, whatever method you've gone for. And it just gives you that extra little bit of reach to the ridge line there on the little clip. And it's come all the way around. What damaged the, uh, the tarp? Because it's literally just hugging it uh, but yeah coming around clipped back in there just because the trees are a little bit too close so this is from edward and it's my blue and black chair are you doing it yeah i'm going to set it up oh. so we're gonna move the pet Is it 
a broken chair. <laughs> no. Need to build it. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna stop him. Where's your little bag? I've got it. Yeah. You want this one? Oh, That's right. that one. Yeah. And then watch. What you do with this one? Put it over your front leg like that. And then you've got a little pocket underneath your chair. Oh. <laughs> right, do you want me to do this bit for you? Yeah. Dad, I'm gonna record you when you're gonna um, make food. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can't believe you only wanted sausage and beans tonight. And a few your your crisps. My crisps that I make. Yeah. Can I take the one I'm putting on? There you go. What's your name on? Let's get out those. I like this chair. Can I actually be mine? Yeah. Every time. Ollie will have to use it if he wants. He can if he wants. Oh no, he's got a shark one, hasn't he? What? Still recording. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a little nap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, as Bella was saying, these are the um, sort of folding camping chairs from Edway. So it come like this, a nice little Velcro loop attached. And then it all just sort of pops together really. All self-explanatory, can't get it wrong. The bungee cords sort of run in and out of their own poles. So you cannot really get this wrong at all. Not even me. So once you've got it like that, the uh, two front poles, these here, yeah, they then become like a holder for your the bag that the chair comes in, but it becomes like a storage pocket underneath. I'll just uh, put that on now for you. So yeah, bringing it back in, there you go. So loop over there on that one, and loop over there on that one, and the storage pocket sort of lives underneath the chair then yeah, and then you start to apply the seat And then there you are, simple. So basically just let all the elastic pop into each other um, and then use the poles to go into the back of the mesh seat. What are you doing? Take your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> um, just as I was showing you in the video there, really nice and simple, um, but really sort of comfortable as well. Right, I think this one's getting hungry, so I'll uh, start to cook for her. Good self, Dad. 
Stop talking about Stop <laughs> taking pictures of my food. That, that scared me then. Why? So I'm starting out right now. Uh, just while I've got this on the boil, uh, Bella's going to have a hot chocolate in this mason jar. One of the uh, galaxy ones. And I'm just going to have a, a standard white coffee. Hi. I've literally taken about a minute and a half, two minutes, to come to it rolling boil like it is. So I'll uh, add some into the uh, mason jar and add the hot chocolate in. So I've just brought the mason jar for her just because it's got a handle. Yeah. As you can see. Fill that right up, bro. And some more water for me now and we'll get that back on bro. What I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna add my coffee in cold. <laughs> and let it come to the automatic stir. Is that what I called it before? Something like that. Right, let's spin it on again. Got a, a bit of a miss up there. <laughs> Literally, my uh, cup boiled over in like a matter of minutes. Um, not even two. So it uh, just literally come over and just went all over the stove and just sort of doused the stove in coffee. So we've got a lovely aroma at the moment, don't we, Tinkerbell? Yes. Uh, but yeah, just sort of finish off the stirring. I'm just sorting my look. tripod out, guys. That's why it's <laughs> making that noise. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, have a drink. Right, so I don't know if you've heard my daughter in the background chuntering away. She's been attempting to make a, a very first YouTube channel. Um, so she's going to call it Tink Outdoors and Challenges. And challenges. Because uh, I'll be doing challenges at my house and camping with my dad and my sisters and my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you uh, go across, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever. You know, you know, the, you know the drill. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you roughly what I'm cooking tonight. Uh, so first of all, we've got a spud. A spud? A spud, yeah. A potato. It's a potato. It's a spud. I don't know what a spud is. That's a spud. No, it isn't. It's a <laughs> potato. Yeah, so I'm going to be trying to make some uh, thinly cut sort of crisps with that. Um, and then I've got some peppered beef medallion steaks. And then a pack of pilau rice. Um, I've got some eggs for the morning. Um, other than that, I'm just going to get cooking. This uh, stove lit. Where's the ignition point? There. Should I tell them what your, um, your, your editing video is Should I? Oops. You know what I think I'm a hardest? The hardest on what, love? Really on <laughs> right, so Bella is basically fishing for subscribers, telling you that she's tried her hardest to edit in her first video, and she's really looking for some subscribers. big subscribers from this video. But yeah, there's Bella's tea, just some simple beans and sausage, and just going to be in a, a standard life venture plate. Ah. I'm sitting on the mini rock. You've got your chair. Yeah. How good this stove is, it doesn't mess about at all. Literal seconds. And it's uh, probably warm enough for it to eat, to be honest. But this ain't up to my standard, is it? Not my standard of cooking this. Right, literally another minute from last time I brought you back. And we're all the way through. 
So I've obviously got my uh, heat resistant gloves just so I can pick the pan up because I've not attached Old Faithful's handle. Right, let's play this up with Bella. So there we go, that's Bella's tea all plated up. So I'm going to go and get her on with that and then I'll start cooking mine. And then I'll be done. Press the button. Can't even what? Can't even press the button. Is it nice? It's lovely. There you go. The whole plate's full up. Mm. I'm going to see if I still have it in a minute. That says Google stuff then. Right, so it's time to start preparing for myself. So I'm literally, I'm going to cut these as thinly as I dare and try and make some crisps or just sliced fried potatoes basically. Oh that one went a bit wrong didn't it? See if we can get Bella to eat these as well. See if she actually understands that this is actually how crisps are made. So we'll uh, we'll see. We're just getting towards the tail end of the spud now. Yes, Bella, it's a spud. It's getting a bit more difficult to cut really thinly, especially by hand like this. So uh, I think we'll give it a miss. But yeah, some of them have been absolutely perfect. And then others have been a bit hit and miss. But we ain't done bad. Not for outdoors anyway. Right, so I'm just going to cheat with my oil tonight. I normally spray it all in, but as I'm sort of making crisps or thin sliced potatoes, We'll just dump it all in there. Throw that away. Right, the stove going. Again, that third off all time tonight. Yeah. And then uh, put the pan on. Just give Bella a few uh, to try. And if you just said, Dad, I really like your cooking, but I only get to cook when I'm outside. So I've still got a few more. We'll throw these in now. We're only sort of lightly frying them for that one. Like a hand cooked crisp. Mm. As you can hear as well, quite crunchy. <laughs> right, I'll go and show you Bella. There's Bella's. I got some more. You have? There you go. What do you think of them? They look good. They look good. Have you tasted them yet? Taste them then. Smothered in bean juice as well. Mm. 
Nice. Right, let's leave it to it. Right, so just while my tea is cooking, um, I brought this little torch for uh, Bella today. So this is, uh, can you see that? The WowTac A2S uh, head torch. Um, loads of different modes, really quite bright. Just for her to illuminate while she's running around camp and stuff like that. Um, but it's actually a sister company of Frunite as well, uh, which I didn't realise when I picked and it up. I just turned on YouTube and my dad's YouTube channel came up. <laughs> Have you been watching Daddy? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, but yeah, this is the A2S and it's a sister uh, company of Frunite. But WowTac and really quite impressed with the price. I'll leave a link to where I picked it up from in the description. Because it's, uh, it's quite impressive. Right, so some of these have just started to turn. <laughs> Go outside. Yes. I've left them a little bit too long. I see some of them are burning, some of them are What I'm going to do though, I'm going to take these off. They do look phenomenal. Uh, take these off, and then I'm going to put the uh, steak, mini steaks or whatever they are, in. I've just taken these off. Some of them do look burnt, but look really, really well as well. So I'm going to let them cool a minute, and th while I get the steak and the uh, rice on the go. Two peppered steaks on. Go on side. I got blocked again. Right, I'm just gonna check the back side of these steaks again cooked really slowly and you can see the blood sort of pooling on the top there yeah so I'll uh, turn gas up a little bit and just finish them off sharpish So looking at it, I don't think I'm going to bother with rice. Um, I had anticipated Bella taking a few of these bits of the steaks and a few more of the crisps, but I think she's full up. So I am going to bother with the rice. Again, I'll take that all. Just finish these steaks off and get tucked in. As you can see there, the pan is extremely hot. Try and get some run off. Turned off for a minute because we are going to be uh, making some s'mores. But what do we reckon to that, people? Right, let's get a little bit of this meat off. <laughs> Got all that juice running off it. Still pink, just the way I like it. Mmm, beautiful done a bit. Yeah. Yeah? I'll try a little bit. Got a little bit off for Bella. Is that enough? Yeah. You have to tell everybody what it's like. Okay. She can't it's tell. It's good. Is it good? Yeah. How good? Really good. Marks out of ten. 1,000 out of 10. 1,000? Oh, there yeah. you go. You've heard it from Tink herself. 1,000 out of 10 for my uh, cooking. Right, I'm going to go sit and enjoy this. So I'll see you shortly. 
did I enjoy that? So I'm just using some dead fern to clean my plate. What, no, you see that little triangle at the bottom right hand corner? Yeah. Yeah, don't press it here then. That's it. Yeah, yeah so I clean my plate and my pan. Put the oil right at the base of the tree. And then Old Faithful's had a good workout again, so I'll give him a, a proper clean tomorrow. But I'll uh, get him cleaned up for now and bring you back. Well, it's coming up nearly 11 o'clock now. Uh, I just made s'mores with Bella, but just had a little bit of time on his own rather than uh, recording it. It was just nice to be sat and chilling with her and just letting her enjoy the moment. Yeah, so I've got her all nicely tucked up in bed now. Look at me like Marty McFly. So I've got me a scouting blanket um, and me hat, obviously, but Bella's got her um, beaver blanket on. Sort of encouraging her to sort of use it. We've not had the opportunity over the last sort of two years, so it's uh, getting a bit of wear. <laughs> right, it won't be long before I get into bed, so we'll uh, see you in a minute. I'm in bed now, aside from zipping my bug net up. What a night. <laughs> I know it's been a, a different video to what I normally bring, but. She's been cooped up recently as Bella, so uh, she needed a night out, bless her. And I'm always happy to oblige. I love spending time with them doing things like this. I'll be honest, I can't stand the kids at home. You know, the mess and messing about and fighting and arguing and blah, blah, blah. But outside, absolutely water off a duck's back. You know, I love bringing them out and doing things with them. But I can't cope at all. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'd uh, better get some shut eye. In case she wakes me up at middle of the night. So unless all exciting happens. See you in the morning. Oh, good morning. It's a little after 6 30. Walking up by a lot of owls, which is a good sign because there's nobody else around. So, oh. I've had a really comfortable night's sleep. I'm not heard a peep out of Bella, so I'm going to assume that she has. So, all is good. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to try and get another cheeky 20 minutes or so. Well, as you've just heard, um, some geese have just gone overhead. Um, and thankfully woken me up because it is coming up half past eight. <laughs> so I've got another couple of hours skip. I still not heard a murmur from Bella. So I'm going to get out and go and check her. <laughs> I can't see. Good morning. Too late. <laughs> you okay? You nice and warm. Oh, then you go back to sleep for a bit if you want. Where are you going? No way yet.
Well, as you can probably see in here, um, it started to rain, so I've just thrown my uh, jacket on. But I don't really want to get my camera bottle off. Yeah, I don't really want to uh, get much of my camera to get wet. Uh, so I'm not going to end filming here, but I'm going to stop filming for a little bit and keep the camera as dry as possible. Um, so I'll see you in a bit. That's the uh, beauty of bringing so many dry bags with you, especially the ones that this size. This is the pack liner that I use. Yeah, I just actually tore down the tarp and throw it straight in here. Keep it dry and separate from all the gear. Yeah. Right, let's move on to things. So we're just sheltering from the rain a little bit. Let's have a nice sleep. Yeah? And comfy. And comfy. Oh, nice one. So yeah, um, if you've been frightened about getting kids in a hammock, in, She's testament that you can do it with kids, and uh, obviously Ollie, my youngest boy as well, he's uh, he's been in a hammock a number of times as well. So don't be frightened of it, just go out and give it a go. Um, I've got to get this shelter down somehow. I don't really want to get more wet than I already am. <laughs> so, uh, right, better do it anyway. Right, well that's us all packed up uh, in the rain, as you can quite clearly see. Uh, another comfortable night, aren't we? I've got hair, man. you got hair? But... <laughs> but yeah, another great night with Bella. Um, loves camping this one. Don't forget to go on over and check her channel out. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to my... Think Outdoors Challenges, that's one of my name. <laughs> yeah, so Think Outdoors and Challenges. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to my channel by pressing this here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.